Last time on. Got you. <laughs> you. I bet you know exactly where the exit is, right? T -t Tell me. Uh huh. <laughs> An emergency staircase right here. Thank God. Truly perfect for an emergency like right now. Let's hurry and get out of here. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold up! Hello everyone, it's Over the Fight 6 7. We're back with another episode of Dangarampa, another episode. Last episode we got kind of thrown out of Toa Tower, and now we gotta climb down the outside. Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but what floor are we on again? Better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. Chachiro's not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Taro promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed into paste, burned and eaten. Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. Anyways, Monica, why are we not holding a funeral this time? A funeral? Oh, that. I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter, we can't even fill the coffin anyway. Well, well, if you got bored of it, guess we don't really have to. But, um, do you think Jachiro really died? Hmm? I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a teensy bit curious. That's all. It sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Huh? Toko, you were so cute. As always, the director, the producer, the sponsors, everybody was super happy. And now, there's another business you have to attend to. And your mom's gonna come with, okay? It's going to be all right. Katoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. Very, very gentle. is a bad, bad word for Kotoko. Jeez, to make you end up like this. It's as I've always known. Demons are the worst. How can they be so blind? Blind to their foolishness, ugliness, noxiousness, bad smell, boringness. 
to their own damnation. Even blind to the fact that they scarred Kotoko like this. It's okay. Monica won't be gentle. Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat. More worthless than dirt and disgusting. Filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! They should just hold it in and hold it and hold it until their intestines explode! Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Um, what are you guys doing? Ah, it's Nagisa. Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps jealous? W what are you talking about? What do I have to be jealous of? It's not like I'm jealous of you. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it... It's not that at all. Hey, what do you mean, jealous? Yeah, Monica, you're so innocent. I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up. <laughs> I don't get it at all. And hey, more importantly, you mentioned there was work to be done. Did something happen? Yes, I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent scouting earlier. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society, Future Foundation. It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free-roaming demons. You mean the Resistance? As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Amazing! Amazing! I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing! Well done, Nagisa. W wait Mata! Hey! Hmm? What's wrong? I it's nothing. Just... Y you're a little close to me is all. Aww. You're such a shy boy, Nagisa. No. Your plan. If it works, our paradise can finally be built. And when that happens, the warriors of hope will level up to save you. Hmm. As our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah. You're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon! Hey, you're listening, right? Kurokuma? Oh, right. You can talk now.
person in charge. <laughs> Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. Uh, you're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrooms? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. It, it's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope, that's all. The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. So, they have a bear too, huh? I see. I'm sorry, I'm just a little heavy in thought right now. Kotoko. Oh god, what they did to her. I can already tell you. I don't feel bad for her at all. What they did to her is not okay. Poor little one. I need to find her. We need to do something about it. No person deserves what happened to her. None. No person at all. If I had a little plush of her right now, I'd be holding her tongue or it's okay. So I already know what happened and you can tell by my voice that it's not something okay. If it stays dark like this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. I can feel death behind me. Well, try holding out a bit longer then. Does this work? Nope. This might be a challenge room now. No. Nope, not a challenge room. What's that over there? A power panel, right? Huh. Nope. Oh, right here. Finally, we're out of that horrible darkness. Yeah, all we gotta do now is get out of here. Find the light in the darkness. If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. I feel like we've done something like this before. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? Exactly, why would the you? Light in the darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with <coughs> it? <coughs> mm -hmm. This is a two room puzzle. There might be something in this room. Let's get this over with. Pick up your pace. You see there's markings, but... Hmm. Maybe we go back in here. The light in the darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? Hmm. Sorry, I'm a little 
tired from the what happened. This side has paint, the other side doesn't. Huh. Ah. Hey! What are you making it dark for? Y you're doing it just to mess with me, aren't you? It it's not like that. So, 251907. But. Do I have to make those six digit numbers four digits? What do I have to do? Okay, I'm sorry, but how many times am I going to have to tell you to use the damned attack? Do you see that I am? You can see. So you got all the puzzle elements now, right? Hmm. Have you guys figured it out yet? You know this is where I'm just putting the an I'm looking the answer from where I did it before, right? This is your chance to think about it. In the comments, I know it or whatever. Cause you know I'm gonna tell you, right? Ah. Hmm. Oh. I believe Net Toko, I mean, uh, to 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 Toko, poor girl. Toko. Toko, can you help me move this locker? Sure, but you think there might be a hidden passageway behind the locker? Yeah, here's your hint. The heck? There's no hidden passage here. Jeez, don't get my hopes up. Let's use the tact. Huh, it seems we moved into the, one of the spots where there was numbers. And if we use the tact on this, you can see that there was paint. Yeah, these were moved. Toko, why don't we try moving this locker too? Ugh, you sucker people into doing work for you with your nice words. I'm tired. Why do I have to do this? Have you figured the answer yet? The six of you came four, but they wouldn't tell you how. But maybe the answer is two one nine seven. Now we had the bookcases in place. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Solved a child's riddle. I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story for now. Ta da! No. I, I see. I'll wait for the siren. Dance. 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 
And that's how you take it out. With that one too. Sorry, I wasn't falling for that one. What's in here? Yay, knockback. Do your best get on. Come on. File. Toad employee, letter from Toad employee four. Not the bag. Uh. And there's a challenge room. Is there a save point anywhere? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. That's right, you have to do this too. We can't mess this up. I'm actually kind of worried what's coming up. You tell me there's a save point somewhere. There is no save point to this room until we get in here. Oh god. Challenge, if you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. When the song is, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey! <laughs> New technology can sure be sketchy times, huh? Oh boy. You need the log for this? So I wasn't reading, I'm just... Basically, time for a tutorial once again! Now this is a really dangerous room with lots of Beast Monokumas lurking around. It appears the Beast Monokumas are controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. But don't be afraid. As long as you can find the, the singing child, you can disable all the Beast Monokumas. The Iron Maiden, shaped like a Monokuma, aka Monokuma Maiden, is where the children is hiding. Well, child is hiding. However, choose the wrong one and you'll be judged by Beast Monokuma and fail the challenge. So look for the correct main while you try to avoid the roaming Beast Monokumas. These Monokumas move in a specific pattern, so it would be a good idea to figure that out first. Also, when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. There's also a visual guide that will give you a good idea where the singer is. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. Yeah, this isn't going to be fun. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. I am actually scared to do this, because I really don't want to mess this up. So let's check the Mono Mono Machine. Well, Mono, Mono Command. Let's really study this. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. Alright, so don't go all the way up. And moving up and down. I like the middle safe. We wait for him. Be careful so we don't get caught. Now that we're in this corner.
Surprise! The Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy. She's not kidding. Break them all. Break them all. Break them all, I said. And when I said all... I mean, break them all. You get a whole lot of coins for doing that, but we're out. Whew, could you imagine picking the wrong one? With this, we can get outside, right? Nothing to worry about now, right? All right, I got time is just right. right. And you? Give me the goods. You were seen. Oh, we're playing this game. This is a game where be hit or be hit assault. Oh, look, I got the gladiator. I told you that was my jam. Guys, don't listen. Oh, no, we can't get over. Save point was over there. The ghost that wants to die. Taro jumped off the roof of the kindergarten saying he no longer wanted to live, but now he has to live as a ghost. Oh, poor Taro. Life of a ghost is pretty hard. You know he wants it to end, it can't end. But Taro had an idea. Let's just change the meaning of live. And to do that, Taro made a very strange move. Which reminds me. Hey Tokyo, Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? Are you serious? There's no way I believe in ghosts and all that paranormal stuff. Hmm. I may be liberal arts to the core, but I am capable of thinking logically. But then why are you afraid of the dark? <sighs> you sure coming you sure come gouging at me? Huh? Gouging? Are you an idiot? Gouging at my brain to force me to remember my trauma. The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of the experience I had locked up in a dark place. <laughs> oh, you did something bad so you got locked inside the closet? That happened to me as a kid too. It's so narrow and dark. It really is scary, huh? Don't mess with me. This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. For, for three days? This is the worst. And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since then, I might connect dark and trauma subconsciously. Ugh. Ugh, just think about it now, give me the goosebumps. Um. Why were you locked up? And who did that to you? Uh, hi. Remembering is just. Sorry. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked. You know, they say except is one part of the healing, but I'm not sure. Especially with her. I must not die. What in the world is going on? There's not enough information out there to say for sure. But I know one thing. I have to make it out of this town. Until I know for sure that my wife and child are safe, I can't die. As a husband, as a father, I haven't done my job yet. If I die here, I can't give my wife and beautiful child the life they deserve. But either way, ready to say goodbye to Toa Tower? It's a good thing we got out of there okay. But being trapped in 
that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't! If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl! I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything! Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. Toko, what you said earlier... You weren't serious, were you? What do you mean? You said you were gonna kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So you'd even kill your friends? What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But that's horrible. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. Arya ship and then with Hendrix himself came to my life gone three times in my dreams anyway. What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking. Hey, by the way, when is that meat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? This is gonna be a once in a century event. I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket. <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre, what an awesome word! It's downright magical! It has a great ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating on my heart! <laughs> So yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like, Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! Or maybe I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Cheese and subjected into my witty banter, you high bastard! Horrific idiot! <laughs> Never mind, just be quiet. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while, but I guess not. He may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of them if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! If Monica's fine with it, so am I! Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the Resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out, like ants who've lost their nest. They will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader, you sure have a good plan, Meow. But instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? We promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool. There's no way I can lose now. I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons! <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting...
getting pumped up, right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! Whoops! I didn't mean like grown, like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew! That was a close one. Damn close! Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Maggie, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say? You guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much. But talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Ah, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read mine. Don't wanna say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue. I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? This is downright nuts! I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. Not! Take this! Take this! Useless servants deserve to end up like this! I just like this go as long as it can. <laughs> good, good! Go for it! Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve saying that while doing nothing on your own. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot. But I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. And that's why you don't have any friends! What? L leave me alone. I... I like being by myself. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. You can tell these two are now uh, 
critical mass. <sighs> Brimming girl power. Now we get a lot of health. Yay! There is another item. Besides getting a lot of heals. Right here. Hunting grounds, Toa Tower, demon name, Tachin Chin. Tachi Fujisaki, a smart pants demon with a short, curly hair. It's not really strong, but it's super smart to make up for it. Hanging around machines is not a good idea. It's pretty serious, but still a demon. I'd use my sexy charm to trick him. Unlike the boys who wrote the last one, I think the girls wrote this one. Oh boy, though. Uh, but it looks like Kotoko's our opponent for this chapter. Poor girl. Yes, I actually still feel bad. Now I know this chapter is kind of notoriously bad for thing for certain things, so. Yeah, that's why I had to put the warning mostly. You horse. Huh. Speaking of... We can't get over there. But we exited the same door we came in. But the but, but, but uh, uh, unless that's where uh, wait, that might be where we came out in chapter three, and that's where we can that's where we went in. So they've really been taking out pieces of the place. Wow. Yeah, they took pieces out. They definitely took pieces out. We were looking at it. So you know what? Because of the challenge room, I'm ending the episode here. I hope you have fun, and I'll see you on the next one. See you then.